Hey everybody, here at the National Pavement Expo once again, live with Mr. Lee Kuhn, the president of Rhino Works. We are right here with the RY30, 30 gallon kettle. This is a truly unique product that is going to smash the crack filling melting industry and provide contractors with tremendous opportunities to maximize their business. I wanted to do a quick interview here today to show you the unique features and also the value in what contractors will be getting to maximize their business. So Mr. Lee Kuhn, tell me, what is what is this machine? Tell us all about it. Okay, so this is, a, this is our kind of rendition of a 30 gallon um, direct fire melt, uh, direct fire kettle. Uh, if, if you know anything about, uh, if anyone's ever seen the other existing 30 gallon kettles in the market, they're all driven by a clutch. So our, our design is dri driven by twin burners, um, twin sealed burners. And the burners really make, the burners really make up the heart of, of the machine. And you know, each, each burner assembly is a, a multi-directional jet burner. It draws the air from the bottom of the kettle. And one of the major benefits of this design is that nowhere around the kettle do we have openings for, for wind uh, to come in, which shields our flame and protects it from flame outs. So you don't have to worry about flame outs and, and necessarily babysit your kettle. Um, the other benefits of this, of this design is we've got a flame out sensor and an electronic igniter. In the event that somehow the flame does go out, which is incredibly unlikely, um, it turns off the flow of fuel to the burner and stops you from dumping gas into your unit. The electronic ignition is nice. Um, you can automatically fire a unit, and the entire burner assembly slides in and out of the unit for servicing or um, checking, just like that. On the front, we've got a control panel interface with the igniter, as well as a high-low adjustment for the burner. The high-low adjustments are nice because on both burners, you've got the ability to run both at the same time um, with variable temperatures. You, if you want to melt material real fast, you can set both burners to high, and you're gonna you're gonna melt about 30 to 50 percent faster than what you'd be able to do with a torch fired unit. If you're only looking to maintain the temperature and you've got pre melted product, just turn one burner to low, leave the kettle door shut, and your material will stay pliable. And when we move up here, we've got lid latches to make sure that the lid stays secure. Uh, the last thing you want is to be rolling down the highway and have semi liquid material and have your lid open up and have spilled material everywhere. Uh, when you open up the inside of the kettle, you'll notice that um, down here we've got kind of a shield to prevent any um, any blocks or um, pluggable material from going into the flow area. The kettle floor is flat with with uh, 45 degree angled edges. The reason the edges are angled is because when you agitate and you have heavy blocks of material, you want that material to be able to slide up the edge of the kettle and not get stuck to the bottom. So that's how that helps. And the flat bottom design allows the heat from the burners on the inside to distribute along the bottom of the kettle and melt the flat surfaces of the crack fill blocks. And that surface to surface heat transfer is what allows us to melt material so much faster than with a torch fired model. That's fantastically, you know, those are some incredible features and components. A couple things too, you know, you know, I know I understand a lot of the key features of this machine because it is based upon the other machines as well. Yep. You kind of are always focusing on the safer, tougher, better machine, right? That's really, really the goal, right? So at the end of the day, there's less welds, it's a cleaner unit. Really, you've taken customers' feedback to truly improve what used to be there to create a new innovative industry standard that exists in the industry today. And that's something that's really exciting, you know? Everything from glycerin-filled temperature gauges to less welds to blockers that prevent crack filler chunks from blocking uh, spouts from the molasses valves, you know, enclosed burner systems so there's no flame outs, uh, very durable steel, a lot of it's folded so there's not, again, a lot of welds even on well, the external and, and parts. And also we powder coat our entire kettle, so I mean from inside out, um, in, a, in a black finish as opposed to a colored finish. I'm uh, not quite sure why anyone would want to use any color other than black for a material that's black, but like uh, blue or orange, you mean? Yeah, for us it just makes sense to, to keep it um, the same color as the crack fill. That totally makes sense. That totally makes sense. And let me ask you, uh, basically, when you go to actually apply the crack filler from this machine into cracks, you would use a tool like this. Is that right? Yeah. So you have a few options. I mean, with this with this machine, you can melt approximately um, uh, 30 gallons of material at a time. 30 gallons of material is going to give you um, a pro by volume about 150 to 175 pounds of material um, to the kettle. And that's enough material that when fully melted, you're gonna be able to do somewhere between- Over a thousand linear feet, right? Uh, I'd say close to 1,500 wow. uh, up to 2,000 feet 
of linear feed of crack fill to a full kettle. Amazing. So you, you have a few options. I mean, one of which would be you use a pour pot and then use a manual um, V squeegee for spreading it. A better way of doing it is you can draw it right into one of the melter applicators and we have a few options for those as well um, that actually have burners and melt and apply crack fill as well. Um, I mean, you can use a speed bander and a speed bander is another great way of uh, just going in you know, and, and putting down a lot of uh, footage you know, in, in a quick amount of time. It's fantastic. Well, I'd like to uh, I'd like to just wrap up on the uh, 30 gallon, the RY30 MK Pro here, the melter kettle. You can go ahead to www.asphaltkingdom.com.